Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to share some tips and tricks and features of the EMUI on the Honor 9N. So Honor 9N comes with the EMUI 8.0, and it has Android 8.0 Oreo out of the box. So in this video, we'll share some of the highlights of the UI, some features and options available in the UI to get the better experience out of the device. So let's get started. So first step, let's go to the home screen. So uh, if you just swipe uh, in the home screen, you get this option wallpaper widget transitions. So these are self-explanatory. We are not going into that. If you go to settings, you can see there is an option for home layout. So you can have four by six icon layout, five by six or uh, even a six by six. So those are the options available. So right now we have uh, gone for uh, the different uh, options. So you can uh, just select this option. Five by six is there. Five by five is also available. So that's how you can uh, customize the layout on this device. Now, other than that, there is also option to automatically align uh, whenever you uh, uninstall an app. So you can uh, do that from here. That's the options in the settings. Now, if you go to the uh, quick toggle, so here we have some useful options. One is uh, ride mode. We'll come back to the ride mode a bit later. Then there is screen recording option. So this will basically record the screen. So if you want to do a tutorial with your smartphone, you can do the screen recording option. So screen recording is basically you can see that this feature requires uh, permission. So once you enable, uh, you can see that welcome to screen recording during the screen recording all operations on the screen will be recorded. Screen recording will end uh, if a call is made or received. So screen recording for extended periods of time may cause your device to heat up. So if we just uh, enable that, you can see here uh, start the recording and stop the recording options are there. So now let's uh, see uh, the recording. So there you can see uh, now it's recording. So you can have the option to stop. So whatever uh, we are just showing here will be recorded and saved as a video. So that's uh, the screen recording option on the uh, now uh, I mean Honor 9N. Now you can also customize this quick toggle see here. So you can see here you can just drag and rearrange all the icons available. So you can just drag and rearrange and have different uh, layout for the notification and quick toggles. So that's the uh, toggles uh, available. Now going to the settings. So here we have uh, some really useful options. Uh, first, let's go to the battery settings. So under the battery settings, uh, we have this power saving mode and ultra power saving mode. So in case you are running on extremely low battery, you can just turn on the ultra power saving mode and uh, this will uh, get you more battery for calls. And there's also option to automatically uh, save power by reducing the screen resolutions. So when you turn on the smart resolution, you can see that when the battery level is low, it will go to HD plus that's 1520 by 720. That's low resolution instead of the standard full HD plus resolution. That's 2280 by 1080p resolution. So that's the screen resolution option available uh, in case you are running on low battery. Then going to the display settings. So here we have uh, one option called eye comfort mode. So this, once you turned on the eye comfort mode, it will have uh, a warmer tone uh, which will reduce the strain in your eyes. So that's the eye comfort mode. Then you have this option of uh, screen uh, home screen style. You have this app drawer style or if you want the standard uh, layout with multiple home screens, you can choose that. We have just selected uh, the app drawer style. Then uh, there is option to disable the notch. So if you don't want the notch, you can just uh, hide the notch. So this will uh, add a black layer on the either side of the notch uh, to disable the notch. Then if you go to the storage option. So here we have a storage cleaner at the bottom. So what it does is uh, it will uh, actually clean up uh, junk files. You can see here uh, deep clean. You can uh, unused files can be cleaned and uh, you can also uh, see what all uh, files are taking up your storage that can be done from here. And once you hit clean up, it will um, uh, clean up unused, unutilized memory and cache from the system. So that's the option. Then uh, going to the uh, security and privacy. So here we have a face unlock and fingerprint scanner. So we are not going into that detail. So that is self-explanatory. There is a feature called app lock. So if you want to protect the apps uh, with fingerprint, you can or password, you can do that. So we can just set uh, a password for app lock. And once uh, you are set, you can associate your existing fingerprint scanner to the app lock. So uh, you can see that right now I have uh, associated it with the app lock. Then we'll just uh, unlock it. So you can see here now, now I have entered app lock and uh, you can just see I'll just uh, enable uh, app lock for Amazon shopping. So now coming back, exiting. Now let's go to Amazon shopping. And you can see that app lock uh, is uh, now enabled for this device and I mean uh, this uh, app and uh, when you enter the fingerprint it will open the app. So that's how app lock works so that's uh, quite a handy feature if you want to protect your personal apps. 
similarly there is another option called file save this is a uh, an option where you can securely store all your personal files including videos photos and once you enable the uh, safe this will be an area where it will be password protected and only you will be having access with a uh, fingerprint scanner or a password so that's the uh, file safe option so this will prevent unauthorized access of your photos and videos by others then there is smart assistance so here we have a one handed ui so this is a quite self explanatory so we can see that uh, you can just swipe from here to get uh, to the one handed mode so this is the one handed mode and if you just swipe from here it will get you to the one handed mode on this side so that's the one handed mode uh, and if you feel that uh, uh, the uh, the screen size is larger you can ha even have a smaller keypad as well then there is option called motion control so here we have flip to mute so whenever uh, you get a call you just flip the device to mute the volume and there is also three finger screenshot so just enable this and uh, we'll just show you the three finger screenshot so there you go that's a three finger screenshot option this is quite handy in uh, taking uh, screenshots quickly then uh, going to the system settings so here we have a couple of options one is the system navigation so we can have the navigation bar uh, uh, configuration now you can have a multitasking and uh, the back button in the change and also have the option to, of pulling the notification toggle so you can also have a navigation dock if you want that if you can just disable the navigation bar and settings and have this dock alone so that that option is also included here then there is simple mode so simple mode is uh, an option wherein uh, you have uh, pretty basic options uh, we, uh, once you enable we have this large icons with the complex settings removed and it is pretty easy to use the device especially for elderly people then there is ride mode so ride mode we have done a detailed video on what it uh, looks and uh, when you enable the ride mode what it does is uh, uh, when you're riding a bike uh, and uh, when you get a call it will be automatically uh, saying a message that this person is riding the bike and uh, it will not connect the call unless it is really urgent so this is the uh, uh, option when you enable uh, uh, the ride mode you can see that only calls and sms uh, i mean emergency number is available nothing else no apps will be available if you want you can just exit uh, the ride mode and we'll just to show you the configuration options as well so ride mode uh, you can see preferred answering method by voice text or decline automatically there are three options when you receive a call while you're driving and uh, if you are selected auto answer by voice so you can actually select um, uh, the voice here as well so uh, there you go the person you are trying to reach is riding a bike and cannot take a call at the moment please dial one if this call is urgent जिस व्यक्ति तक आप पहुंचने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं वो इस समय बाइक चला रहा है और कॉल नहीं ले सकता so that's the right mode and there is also auto answer by text you can just enable the text messages here there is also right tracking and distance travel uh, in case uh, you want uh, to use the right mode uh, to know where all you travel so that's another useful option so these are the options available uh, in the settings panel and there is also uh, theme support on this device you can uh, go to the theme center and download additional options i mean additional themes uh, if you want to uh, customize the device then you also get the phone manager option so phone manager has clean up a mobile data block list a battery drop zone wireless scanner and option so we can uh, optimize the device by running a uh, scanner here so you can see that you can optimize the device uh, and get the best performance so that's the phone manager so these are some of the options uh, you can uh, check out on uh, the honor 9n with uh, the emui uh, and android 8.0 so that's it for this video this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day